Hello friends, welcome. Today in this class we will talk about the circular flow of income. Okay. In the whole economy, uh, there is mainly two components from which the inflow and the outflow of income is taking place. Okay? So that is a is the firm. The first one is the firm, and the second one is the household sector. Okay. So to both the way, the inflow and the outflow of the money, that is, the income generating activity, is taken place. Here, the household se household sector who owns the land, labor, capital, etc. So these all are the scarce resources which is owned by the household sector. Okay. So this is one of the component. Then the other one is the firm. Okay. Firm is doing the business activity. They are producing. The goods and the services, okay. and for that the firm requires the factors of production to produce the goods and the services that are the land, labor, capital, etc. So the firm gives the factors of production to the firm for using it. But as nothing in this world is free, the firm have to give. They have to make payment for that land, labor, capital. That is the factors of production. Okay, so the firm is paying for that. In case of the land, the firm pays rent to the household. Okay, household for providing the labor, getting wages, and for capital, the firm gives interest to the household. Okay, so in this way. The for using the factors of the production, firm make payment for that. Okay, and with using the factors of production, the firm is doing the production processes of the goods and services. Okay, they are producing the goods and services which is demanded by the household sector, which is or uh, which is the need of the household. Okay, so household for using. The goods and services, as they are demanding the goods and services, they are making the payment for goods and services. Okay, so the household sector pays for goods and services, and in return, as the firm is getting income, they are get giving the goods and services to the Household sector. Okay, so this one is known as the goods and services market, and this is known as the factor market. Okay, so in this way, the household gives money. Okay, um, household gives money for goods and services. So the firm getting income. Okay, and for using the land, labor, and capital. They are paying to the household, and therefore the household get the income. Okay, so the circular flow of income is happen in this way: household get money, income, and they are spending it on the goods and services, and that income goes to the firms again. Okay, so this way the circular flow of income taken place. It is a very simple method. It is a very simple. Method of the circular flow. Okay. Here there is some assumption in this model. Okay. It's a model. It is a very simple model. The sum of the assumption made over here is there is no saving is made by the household sector. That means the household spends all their income in the production uh, in the using in the consumption of the goods and the services and therefore no saving is made okay the other assumption is that there is no tax is paid by the household and the uh, firms to the government therefore we can say that there is no role of government government plays no role in the economy
and the one more assumption is that there is no international trading is taken place okay so we can say that there is no import and the export business in the whole economy so it is a very simple model with this assumption so in a summary we can say that it is a model in which the aggregate uh, the uh, aggregate consumption of goods and services by the household is equal to the aggregate expenditure on goods and services produced by the firms okay so the consumption the spending on the consumption is equal to the expenditure on the production by the firms okay we have understood this okay so but do you think is it possible in the world in the uh, in the real economy of course not possible because the household may savings for the future okay they are doing the savings and therefore as and when they are doing savings the money goes out of the circular flow okay the same way the household have to pay tax on the other hand the firm also have to pay tax for owning the property etc okay so with the uh, through the tax also the money goes out of the uh, the circular flow of the income in the economy okay? and then tax comes to the government okay so the government getting tax from the household and the firm so they are getting income okay and as the government having income they are spending to the spending into the firm okay it is with the help of the subsidies government provides various subsidies to the firm or they start the business in the education sector or the in the healthcare industry or in the defense and the policing businesses industries okay so through these all the government made their spendings of their income okay so that money again the money which is come through the savings and tax again goes to the firm okay and the money again came into the economy that is a circular flow of the economy okay uh, the again the firm the uh, sorry the household would like to do the importing of the biz, uh, importing of the goods and the services in case of the globalization the import and export is becoming very easy household import goods from the other countries other markets okay and as they are importing from the other economy the income goes out of the economy out of the main economy okay and on the other hand the firm would like to do the export businesses Okay. and as they are exporting their goods and services they are getting income in return so the again the income goes out of the economy through the import comes in with the export businesses so the again that income comes into the economy and this way the whole uh, the model of the income that is the income circulates in the economy so this is uh, we can say that it is a circular flow of income in which the income goes to the firm through uh, for the purchasing of the goods and services and that income or uh, earned by the firm goes with the household sector okay for using the factors of the production and on the other hand there are some international trading and the government uh, plays some of the roles okay 
and the whole income circulate flows into the market okay so this is all about the circular flow of income so we have talk about the concept of the circular flow of national income and the role of government and international trading in the circular flow of national income okay so this is all about this i hope you understand it better okay in the next lecture we will talk about the methods of calculating national income so stay tuned for that thank you